Well, it didn't affect us as much tonight. And I thought it would be an issue with, with not having a guy that stresses the defense. Uh, but I thought we did a great job getting the ball to Ivan, uh, letting him make plays, reading Ivan, really attacking in transition and really probing the defense. I thought we had a, a great team effort offensively uh, and just reading him and, and playing with good flow. Well, you know, really, he's, he's playing well, uh, but I think he was a lot better before he was injured, you know, because he put a lot of work in. He was shooting a three ball in the summertime. I think he's getting back to that once he continued to get his legs up on him, but he was doing a lot of different things, handling the ball, shooting it from three, uh, making plays, and a lot of stuff we had in our offensive package for him coming off with the ball. So, but I, I think he's, um, I, would, I would say he's 80, 85% from a conditioning standpoint, and he continues to get better. Yeah. Shoot threes, oh yeah, because he can make them. But but again, it's him feeling comfortable. And I, I think more now than last season, it's just about getting his legs under him because he spent a lot of time shooting. Times are different. Talk about Sam and Charlie tonight. Well, it's no different than, uh, excuse me, Tyrone and, and Sam. You know, having two guards out there to handle the ball, make plays, make decisions. Uh, and it's always good to have multiple ball handlers out there. And I think when Sam's aggressive offensively, we're a better offensive team. So not just willing, because Sam wants to get assists, which is great, but we also need him to be a willing score and to really kind of read the defense and make plays. Is that something that you think you might continue to do? Without a doubt. Oh, without a doubt. There'll be plenty of times they'll be on the floor together, yes. Well, it's something we talked about. Uh, and, and, and I think, you know, in the past, it, some of it probably had to do with me uh, trying to get guys minutes, wrong lineups, and it just it's just tough when you, when you when you when you're short on bodies, but you're still trying to get guys minutes. So so some of that had to do with me. And I thought in both of the two games that we had here, when we gave up big leads, we did a poor job with our transition defense, and a poor job carrying out assignments. Uh, but also some of it had to do with me. It was better today. It was, it was better today. Now, again, they don't run as much because they're two bigs. They kind of run the offense. They allow those guys to get down, and they go through their two big guys. How important will it be to have Grant back against Prince and a team that he's faced uh, three times in the past? That would be good, you know, obviously, because he can make shots. He understands them. Uh, he played against them for four years, uh, three, three years. And he also, um, kind of from a scouting report standpoint, personnel. He, he can really identify certain guys because it's one thing to watch it on film, but to have a guy that has insight to really how guys play, it can help. Uh, the last, uh, last time Grant was out there, you had pulled him for, for Cole in the middle of the game. Was that his intent? Do you think he wasn't in it? Cole? Uh, Cole, well, you pulled Grant for Cole, I think. Uh, last game? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, if you don't know, his grandmother passed away, so that's why he went home. And, and I sensed that he was out of it anyway, just from a standpoint of – Emotionally, um, it was draining for him. So, but he but he stayed here and played in the game. Yeah. Well, I think both of those guys are playing well together uh, with the high low action, reading each other, feeding off each other. They, they do a great job of, of passing to each other. Uh, but but I thought it would be tough on other end as well, trying to guard those guys that are you know smaller, quicker, strong, uh, wide body guys. But but I thought they did a good job accepting the challenge. And Vance made some big threes. Which, if you watch film on those shots, he normally make or normally shoot. We'll find out. I think he went to get an X-ray, uh, but I, I, I have no clue. I don't know. Uh, he's shooting the ball. He looks good. It just, I think that's again one of those deals that the trainer and the doctors they tell me what's going on. I just think they're fighters. I, I think, and they understand, and they they want to win not only for themselves, their team, for the university, uh, and just find ways to compete. I, I think as long as they compete, we have a chance. But it just, again, at some point, it, you'll get to a point where you need all your guys because the competition will be at that level, uh, and, and you, to be successful, you have to have them. We talk about trying to get to the foul line at least 25 times. We talk about that, just being aggressive. Now, again, you got to make them. I think the last two games we hadn't been as good. 
But we've got to consistently focus on making the free throw. But they're doing a great job of getting to the line. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.